Aside from the bobwhite and the scaled or blue quail here in West Texas, maybe no other bird captures the attention of ranchers and quail hunters any more than the roadrunner. Roadrunners are very common across most of West Texas, most quail range in Texas at least. A lot of people will cast a jaundiced eye when you mention roadrunners in the conversation of quail. Are roadrunners big predators of quail? Are they pterodactyls? eating those quail chicks and getting those quail eggs. If you go to the coffee shop, you're convinced that they are. And nearly anybody you talk to will say, I've seen that old roadrunner going through there just peck, 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 taking one chick after another. What does the science say about the roadrunner quail equation? In the court of public opinion, roadrunners would probably be lynched in a lot of areas just on the premise that they may eat quail or quail eggs. But what does the scientific evidence say? In fact, you'll find that the evidence to hand suggests it's not very damning towards the roadrunner. There's been one study done down in South Texas, down at the Chaparral Wildlife Management Area, where they looked at like 140 roadrunner stomachs over a year's time, and they found two that had evidence that they'd consumed quail. We've done several studies with dummy nest over the years where we'll have situated a, a group of chicken eggs to simulate a quail's nest and then we'll monitor those with game cameras trying to determine the modus operandi of various predators of mammals, snakes, birds, whatever the case may be. And certainly roadrunners are one of the possible individuals involved in those depredations. What we found is during one study back in the mid 90s down near San Angelo, roadrunners appeared at the nest four different times, they got their picture taken, but they never broke into the eggs. Now those were chicken eggs, not quail eggs, maybe size matters. So from the evidence at hand, we don't seem to think that there's that big an issue relative to quail management. We did another study out here at the Rolling Plains Quail Research Ranch in 2010, where we put video cameras on two roadrunner nests to see what the delivery of the prey was to the hatchlings. Were they bringing in horny toads, were they bringing in snakes, were they bringing in quail chicks? During um, many hours of video surveillance at these two nests, we never saw any evidence of any kind of bird being brought to the nest. It was typically grasshoppers, it was lizards, horny toads, sometimes snakes, but no birds were ever brought. Now, again, the evidence doesn't point to the fact that roadrunners are a serious predator of quail, but I appreciate the fact that a roadrunner is basically a feathered coyote. It's going to take what's ever easiest to catch. If that's a quail chick, I don't doubt that they take uh, some quail chicks from time to time. They've been known to take birds out of mist nets when when bird banders were uh, catching birds. They've been known to pick birds out of the nest, out of those nets. So uh, they're capable of being a predator, but from the evidence at hand, they're not a serious predator of quail. So I remind you, if, if you doubt me, that roadrunners are a protected species and the fine is $500 per bird. So probably just tolerate your roadrunners. Uh, you'll notice from time to time you may see behavior from those quail that the quail will run those roadrunners off. Uh, we've gotten video footage of it several times where Bob White's or blue quail, roadrunner will be in their presence and they'll physically run that bird off. And a roadrunner's got its own enemies out there too. So again, the whole idea of, of predation is a complex equation. Uh, what each roadrunners uh, is kind of compensating for some of the roadrunners that we have, so to speak. I would probably be more concerned if I was a Texas horned lizard, a horny toad, about roadrunners than I am as a bobwhite quail chick.